Hello everyone, good morning. I'm still here at a yellow mall Cebu. It's Grace again for Filipino lipstick. So we are here right now to more uh, to have interviews more with the Filipino single ladies here in Cebu, Philippines. So stay tuned, keep on watching. Hi. Hello guys, it's me again Grace from Filipino Lipstick and we are sure still watching the channel right now and we are still right now at uh, Ayala Mall, Cebu City, Philippines. I'm, hi I'm here today with this uh, beautiful young lady. What's your name? Hi everyone, my name is Raiza. Raiza, so Raiza, how old are you Raiza? Um, I am 19 years old. 19, you're still young right now. So are you um, a student or working? I am, uh, for now I am a student. A student. Yes. Uh, are you planning to apply for a job? Yes, actually, that's what the reason I'm here. Oh, yeah, that's the reason why you're here. So you yes. plan to apply for a job. So what, what's your dream job? Um, actually, call center. Call center. Yes. Okay, like me. I was a call center before. Then I quit last month ago. So um, how, how many siblings do you have in the family right now? Um, I have two. Two siblings. So you only have two in the families. So what's your family do for a living? Um, my mother worked in a company. In a company, so um, is your uh, status an average Filipino or you a well-off Filipino? Just average. Ah, uh, just average. Okay. So uh, how about your dad? How about your dad? My father is just a driver in our island. Oh, a driver in your island. Okay. So um, uh, here's two question, but you need to answer that maybe later on. So sex or chocolate? But don't, don't answer that right now. It'll be later. <laughs> It'll be later on. It will be the last questions. Okay. Um. How is your day right now? Um, I feel great. Yeah. So, where have you been? Because uh, I've seen you here at the mall, so where have you been? Um, I recently ate in Jobby. Oh, okay, Jobby, Jobby. Is it, that's your favorite food? Yeah. Okay, you always hang out there. Okay, here's the question. So, are you single or taken? Single. Single. Okay, are you ready to mingle? Let's give it a try. Give it a try. So, how long have you been single? Three years. Three years! That's a long year. <laughs> and why is that then? Um, I am focusing on my study. Oh, you're focusing on your study. That's why you're being single for three years longer. Okay, so have you been, um, uh, would you choose a foreigner or a, a Filipino? Um, when it comes to relationship. Well, I, I, I want Filipino. Filipino. So have you dated a foreigner before? Never. Never been. Okay. Uh, are you a cuddle person or a kissing type of person? Why? Cuddle. Cuddle. Why, yeah. why is that you choose cuddle instead of kissing? You know, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. Okay, um, what's the attitude or personality of a guy you like the most? Um, I, what I love with for a guy is that um, when he is uh, um, hardworking. Okay, hardworking. Discipline. Discipline. And of course, gentlemen. Okay, gentlemen. That's your uh, preferences for a guy that you like the most. Okay. Uh, is it personality matters for you? Yes. Why? Why is it matters? Because when you um, when you want to have a relationship with a person, you should um, base on their personality because it is um, it is you who will live with him. So. It is really important. Oh, it's very important. So not the physical appearance of a person. Yes. Oh, that's good to hear that. Okay. Um, is it love or money, and why? Um, I would choose love. Love over the money. Yeah. So why you choose love between the money then? Because um, love is rare. So every way we can find money, we can work for money, but we can find the true love. Oh, okay. So that's a good also uh, opinion for other people also that they want to choose love instead of money, right? Okay. Uh, would you go out with a guy that has a beard or mustache? As it matters to you? Um, I don't like. You don't a guy like a guy with a mustache. Much. Okay. You don't like a guy with a mustache. How about the guy with the bald hair? Bald hair. Yeah. No, no hair at all. Like a bald one. It depends. It depends. Okay. It depends. <laughs> So would you uh, would you accept also a guy, a uh, smoking guy, like smokers, a guy that smokes all the time? Do you want to accept that? Well, I believe um, it really depends on the attitude, like what you've said before. The personality, the personality really matters. Okay, so uh, you don't care about if he smokes or not. Well, uh, yeah, as long as he is a good guy. Mm, as long then, as he's a good guy. Yeah. Okay, that's a good answer. Uh, what about um, next question? Uh, would you go out with a guy that has, that has kids already, but you love him so much, right? 
But it's, it's really like kids, like a single dad or like that, for example. Would Why you go not? out? Yeah, if if you really love that person, you will not um you will not um uh, you will not what do you call that one? Um, you will accept him for who, for who oh, he is. Okay. Yes. So uh, for you, it doesn't matter as long as uh, you love each other. Yeah. Or so if he's a good person, so it doesn't matter to you, right? So even if it's single dad and if you're still young, for example, you don't have a kids and he has, you still want to go out with him? Yeah, if, if I really love him. Yes, of course. Okay, that's a good answer also. So uh, what about the guy? Would you go out with a guy with a fat belly? A fat one. Okay, instead of some girls out there wants a perfect body, right? A guy that is in it, uh, going to the gym all the time, so he, he already have six packs abs. So, what about you? Um, would you go with the fat belly one? Yeah. Um, yes. Yes, for you. Okay, it's like like you said, like um, it doesn't matter as long as he's a good person. Mm, that's a good idea. Okay, nobody so uh, no, nobody shame. So for you, all uh, there's no discrimination at all. Yes. You have a good attitude of a girl. Okay, uh, what's your hidden talent? Um, I can sing a little Oh bit. my god, she can sing, guys. Uh, what about your best asset that a guy would like about you? I think it's my height. Your height? Yeah, yeah I love your height also. It's, it's not only uh, average Filipina, but you're away, uh, you're away from average also. Because some Filipinos are shorter, okay? Yes. And then you are probably like a tourism girl. Because a tourist girl, a tourism girl, um, they have uh, perfect height requirements, right? So, um, what's your personality or your attitude that the guy would love about you? Well, me as a person, I am um, friendly. I am, um, I am approachable, and every person who are good to me, then I will be good to them. Oh, that's your uh, not good, good like personality. What, like what the saying said that uh, don't. Um, don't do unto others if you don't want to do unto you. So be good to everyone and everyone will be good to you. Oh, that's why. That's a good motto in life also. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your hobbies that you do with, during your free time? Um, I love social media. Oh, social media only. Uh, what about TikTok? <laughs> oh, thank you. TikTok also. That's also one of my social media. Yeah, of course, a social media. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite foods to eat? Favorite foods? I love Filipino foods like adobo, something like that. Okay, so have you tried other foods, like other uh, Western food or Japanese food or Korean? Like I like tried that? Korean foods, like ramen. Yeah, ramen. So yeah. do you like them, or you just like the Filipino food better? <laughs> I love them, but Filipino foods are better. Oh, because we're proud to be Filipino, yes. right? So we're supposed to love our foods better than other countries. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you believe you're a good kisser? You don't think so? I don't think so. <laughs> you can rate that 1 to 10. 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest. For me, I think it's... Um, let's give it an 8. Yeah. 8? Oh my gosh. 8 is not that bad, yeah. of course. <laughs> okay, would you go out with the young ones or the older guy? The older than you or younger than you? Would you prefer? Which one? I think I prefer... Um, older than me because I think they are much sure they mm. had like a relationship. Okay, so uh, what's the age gap difference you you preferred? Um, it's I think two to three years. That's two to three good. years. So three years older than you. You want to go with three years older than you. Okay, that's good. So what's your um love language in a relationship? Um, love language I. You know, like, like what you've said before. I like what you asked me before. You know, cuddles. Yeah. Cuddles. So is that your love language? Yes, other? and of course, um, when you're um, taking care of your loved ones. Oh, okay. So you like uh, somebody that's more caring. Yeah. So is that how you uh, show your affections to somebody else? Okay. Uh, is it age matter for you? And why? Well, I believe that age doesn't matter when, what, and when it comes to love. Yeah, when it comes to relationships. So is it for your age matters or why? Or age, is, age doesn't matter and why? Well, um, like what I've said before, um, age really doesn't matter when it comes to love. As long as you love the person, as long as you love one another, then age is not a problem anymore. Okay, age doesn't matter for you at all. So you have no problems with that. As long as uh, you love each other, you have respect each other, and understand each other, right? Like, you mean you make compatible? Yes. Okay. Compatible is the oh, right yes, of course. Okay. So, you, have you dated a foreigner? No. Okay. So, have you tried uh, using a dating app or website before? Um, me 
and my friends tried what do you call that app? Um, what was the app called? I said, let me think. Uh, it's okay if it's your, uh, if I you don't, don't remember. remember. Oh, as long as you tried a dating app with your friends. Yes. So, uh, have you chatted with your partners before? Yeah, we chatted. We chatted. But you've never been in a relationship like on a long distance so far. Did the foreigner try to court you? Yes. Because you're pretty, right? Yes. I'm sure the foreigners would, would love you because or would like you because uh, you're pretty. <laughs> but you never, Thank oh you. no, you never answered yes to I them. Never. Oh, okay. Because you said that you want a uh, Filipino battle with the foreigner. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, how is your study right now going on? It's doing good. It's doing good. Yeah. So, I hope you're, uh, you will find a good job someday. And um, what's your bucket list for this year? Travel, travel and spend time with my family and of course try new things so let's get out of our comfort zone to to have a best life okay so what's um what's the country that you want to go to someday if you have a chance to travel well i love to go to hong kong hong kong and of course um america america which part in america you want to go to someday uh, what else? some countries in yeah, there is. Uh, you want in California or in uh, New York? Yeah, I love New York. You love New York. It's the capital of America. New York is also famous, right? Because yes. all the tourists will go there. Okay, um, thank you for accepting this like, um, uh, invitation. And this is the last question before we end this video, guys. Sex or chocolate? Sex with having chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you want both. You I want, want both, both better. And why is that? <laughs> Sex over chocolate. I mean, she said that she wants both sex while chocolate. Are you a chocolate lover? Yes, I am. Uh, you yeah. are. But you also want sex. <laughs> she also loves sex and also chocolate, guys. Anyways, um, I have fun conversation with you guys. And then um, uh, I'm happy that you accept our invitation, of course. And guys, before we end up this video, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to thumbs up the notification bell for more updates and more videos coming soon. So... See you next vlog. Bye!